hey Francois um, I have your file here and uh, I'm going to show you kind of a, uh, a trick I've done before and if you search the forums for log cabin you'll probably find the thread on this um, that I, I kind of put the solution in for creating log cabin walls um, and you can take it pretty far in doing uh, quite a lot actually with walls. Um, might be a little hacky but it's also pretty powerful because you can insert um, doors and windows and things in the walls um, and it still works. So um, the way I did it, the first thing I did is I edited the wall style and I increased the outer masonry component to the widest part of the wall that I want. And you can see that just quite thick here. It goes out flush to the outer side of that foundation. Um, and then I created a symbol and this symbol <clears throat> has in the top component, it just has a 2D locus and it has a 3D locus in the 3D component um, and then the tricky part is that it has an extrude in the wall hole group. And if you look at this from the side, um, you can see here that I'm creating a profile of the shape that I want to cut away from that wall. And uh, this bottom corner here at zero, zero is going to be at the bottom of the wall. So if you need to go lower, of course, you can extend the shape down. Um, I've drawn this maybe 12 feet high just to make sure I get what I need in there. Um, and it's 100 feet long. Um, just make sure it's longer than any wall you want to put it in. Um, if you go to the symbol options. I have it to insert in walls on edge and no wall break. So now if I go in and insert this, I'll click here and I've set it up so to rotate or, or flip, I want to make my second click away from the wall on the outside. And you can see here it just sliced in. Uh, I can do that again here. Try to put it centered on the wall just to make sure you uh, get it out. Uh, make sure it doesn't uh, fall short of one of the wall ends if it's a, a long wall. So, and you can see there it is. Um, your openings stay intact. Um, you know, if you move them, it moves. I don't know if that moved. Let's move it six inches. So it works great in 3D. Now in top plan, it may not give you what you're after. Um, so that's something else you could look into. Maybe there's some other tricks you can do. Um, however, in a uh, horizontal section, since it is uh, true 3D geometry, it will give you something uh, fairly accurate. Let's see, that's good. So see, so in a horizontal section, you may get something uh, at least a little more accurate uh, to what's happening.